My name is James Mumo and I am the CEO of Mumo Photography and this is how I got started in photography. So my story goes back to when I was in campus. I was in campus in Maseno University and I was studying actual science and yes, actual science. And what happened is when I actually started, uh, that was in 2007. Yes, wow, okay, it, yeah, it was in 2007. I started my first year there and I joined a ministry in campus called Jesus My A to Z. It was a publicity and entertainment group in the Christian Union. And that's where I met my best friend, uh, Lewis. And just looking back at those days, I think that is where it all started. Just being able to uh, act every single week in the Christian Union for different things. And what actually helped me was the fact that you know i was extremely extroverted with a group of my friends uh, apart from lewis there's a guy called chris alex and Eriko. we were five of us and we all were actors that's how uh, that part of me started so when we got to second year in the ministry we wanted to do something different and leave you know you've you've done a number of skits you've done uh, a number of events but we wanted to do something different so we thought of why not do a movie so as part of the actors we had done a number of uh, skits for the christian union to represent different things and i think i'll place in the link one of the skits that we did but what happened when we're now doing the movie project, we couldn't just have the actors only. So the ministry itself had singers, creative writers, actors, and dancers. So we had to have everyone involved in that project. And it was going to be a DVD project. And so I was placed in charge of just making sure everything is done. And we started working on the movie. Remember, I'm an actual science student. I have no idea how media is done, but I had, I had always wanted to do my own movie. And this was a perfect opportunity. So we got started on it and we sat down a group of about seven of us. And if you are a Maseno student, then you know, you know LH15, who were just behind LH15 doing that particular script. So we came up with a story. It had four main characters who were uh, in different uh, uh, roles. So there were two relationships. I was in one of them, I was acting in one of them. And once we got started on that, we fleshed out the whole story, how the script would look like and uh, uh, what the story would lead to. So we did that. We, did, we didn't know the three act kind of thing, but we actually did it. And that was how we first started. So we went somewhere, we would look for a camera that someone has and there were those old they were not all that time, but they, they were tape recorders, camcorders, that's what we used. Uh, we, I don't think we had a tripod, so we were doing mostly handheld kind of shots. We didn't know anything about composition and all those things. All we just wanted to do was tell the story. So we did that, and that was a project of about uh, six or so months. So what we would do is we'd borrow someone's camera and their tape uh, in it and then we'd go and record. So once we've done our recording for the day, uh, we'd actually go and now 
work on transforming it from uh, from tech to digital. And there was a guy who was in our hostel, his name was Koech, and he really helped us. We weren't really close with Koech, but he had that heart of actually helping someone else. So we'd actually come in, um, Enrico had a computer, so we'd pick his hard disk and then go connect on Koech's computer and it would run the whole night uh, at his uh, room just transferring to what we needed and then in the morning i'd come to pick the the tape and the camcorder and our hard disk and now go and edit because we didn't have the capturing card for editing for, for we didn't have that capturing card for conversion from tape to digital so we'd actually go to Eriko's place and then would edit it and then we'd go do the next thing over and over again that's that's exactly what we used to do so we did that project for about six months or so and then as we were shooting and editing shooting and editing we did music videos for the singers we did the same for the dancers i am not we didn't do a project for the creative writers but that's what we did so we now came to editing. So I had to learn how to edit because we now have footage. I don't know how to edit. So uh, there was a software that Coach used to use called Sony Vegas. So that's what we use. So we got a copy of it uh, installed on, on Eriko's machine. And then we used to edit from there. So we'd edit for quite a while there. And that's how it started. So as we're getting about a week to the movie launch we still had not yet finished editing the movie and it was now marathon so we're trying to uh, i think something happened to eriko's machine so i had now to go to to borrow from another friend of mine her name was bridget so i went and borrowed her, uh, her laptop and transferred all the stuff there and now started editing from there. So now I took someone's laptop and was now editing all through, every, every moment just editing. And then now it came to exporting. So I remember it was on a Wednesday when I started uh, exporting because I wanted to export and then we'll get to watch it maybe on Friday before the movie launch, which was on Saturday, because it was a whole event. It was showcasing everything that people had done. People had paid tickets to actually come for the movie launch. So it was a huge, huge deal. And the movie was still exporting. And I looked at it one of those days and I saw 36 hours editing, uh, exporting. And I thought to myself, goodness uh, will we be able to make it so everything is riding on because the movie is the the star of the whole thing and i remember just praying and praying wondering how exactly we'll get this done how will we be able to launch this movie and i remember uh, i went to my room freshened up it was about uh, 4 p.m 5 p.m on saturday and it's not yet finished exporting it was now saying like two hours or something like that and i was calculating and thinking two hours will have already started the concert itself the movie launch itself and i had no idea exactly what was going to happen so it finished exporting at 6 40 p.m and the movie launch is happening at 7 p.m and once that happened i was still in the room waiting for it to export so once that happened quickly took the laptop got to, to a boda quickly to the area where we're going to do the launch itself got there about 10 minutes to type everyone is just wondering what are we going to do 
and then we shot the movie so we had quite a good turnout on that day i don't remember the exact number of people who showed up but we had quite a turnout and i was just sitting there you know just in the audience looking at this the, the projector screen and just looking at people's reaction on uh, the acting that we were doing, the scenes that were there, and, you know, just guys giving you the eye like this, uh, thinking of what exactly is this happening, but we did our first project like that. I, I really need to look for that footage. I'll probably need to talk to a friend of mine so that I can see if they still have a copy of that movie, and I'll place some of it... Um, in this video so that was where it all started just my love for film and my love for just video and i remember as we did that particular project i felt that this is what i should be doing you know you get to campus and yes i passed my exams yes i done all the things that needed to be done but i felt like this is probably what I should be doing. Uh, so I went to my parents naturally and I was like, uh, mom and dad, I want to change from actual science. I want to do media now. 